Fans rejoice. Uh, earlier today on Reddit, I was going through some of the gaming news and found that uh, the original post, amongst other ones, but the original post from Game Informer, uh, they put out a really, really nice headline. It says, perpetrator of holiday DDoS attacks convicted at over 50,000 counts of computer crime. This dude's finally got caught. That's That just makes me smile. The part that doesn't make me smile is the fact that he uh, was really smug about it and he got a really good deal. So this guy, he, uh, he says that he was definitely part of Lizard Squad. You know, he said he was an integral part of the uh, big outage, big gaming outage of Christmas 2014. So that kept people like myself and the rest of the Game Lips group offline from, you know, enjoying their new, uh, new consoles, new systems and everything. So... Um, for the longest time, the systems, the services, PSN, Xbox Live, they were down. Nobody can get on. If you could get on, you weren't on for very long, or you couldn't do anything anyway. For a lot of gamers, it was a very, very terrible time. After a couple of days, the supposed refugee, not refugee, um, well, I guess he's a kind of a refugee, but he's, he's definitely a man on the run. He's not liked in the cybercrime community. Kim.com. Love that name. <laughs> he was the uh, original founder of, of Mega Upload. Now has pretty much a revised version called Mega. Uh, he offered vouchers for Lizard Squad for them to just go ahead. If they could stop, he'll give them. Essentially, it was a total value of like $300,000, I think. So they did stop. But then they started again. So, I don't know. Nobody's actually said anything about what Kim.com did after that. Did he... Did he shut them down? Did he take out all of the uh, memberships that they had that he'd given them on his services? Who knows? It would be really cool if he did stick it to them because that would have been awesome. Because uh, later on, it looks like that the um, that Lizard Squad poked at all the online services again earlier this year. Uh, not fun, you know. You come home from a hard day's work and you can't get on, or you know, you're like a group like Game Blips that wants to uh, run a gaming stream and you're stuck. Yeah, it's just, it's not cool. I mean, they, they may not agree with what we do with our time, but you know what? It's our time. I'm not going to say down here, <laughs> but I did anyway. It's our time. How we ever want to, whatever we want to do with it, however we want to do with it, uh, it's it's none of their business. So I'm, I'm glad that this guy got caught. Uh, unfortunately, uh, what's at the end of this article? According to Finnish news outlets, Kleve, Kleva, K-E-L-E-V-A, as reported by Daily Dot, the, uh, the guy's sentence amounts pretty much to two years of a suspended sentence. So essentially, he's, uh, he got off almost scot-free. Almost. I mean, he's, he, everybody knows who he is now. Everybody knows where he's at. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, essentially, I mean, the guy got caught. Everybody knows who he is. So, you know, he's going to have to hand over everything else to the rest of the Lizard Squad so they can be jerks to everybody else. Um, but it, it totally is weak sauce for only getting two years. That guy, that guy needs to go away for a long time and get the, uh, the zero cool treatment. It's going to happen again. If they don't make a, a good example out of what happened, what's been happening with Lizard Squad... If they, if they put up with this kind of crap, it's bound to happen again. So, you know, hopefully people like us don't get affected anymore. Rich over at Review Tech USA, yeah, I know he's had a lot of uh, head bumps with them. So I'm pretty sure we'll be seeing a video of him doing a little happy dance sometime very soon. But anyway, uh, this is Fred with Game Blips, and we'll see you on the next video.